Hello, and welcome to this tutorial from Navitend. In this screencast, we'll look at how to auto-populate a header or a footer. A viewer recently asked how to auto-populate a footer in Word based on information entered in the body of the document. One way to do this is by using style references to pull data into the header or footer. Let's get started. One way to go about this is to set up a table that contains the information that we need in the footer. Using a table keeps the data neat and makes it easier to restrict styles to certain data. Go to Insert, Table, and drag and click to draw your table. Next, we need to create and apply the styles that the footer will be referencing. Expand the Styles box by clicking the arrow on the lower right side of the Styles part of the Home ribbon or by pressing Control shift alt s Highlight the cell that contains the employee name. Click the New Style button on the bottom left of the Style box. Name the new style something like EMPL Name. You don't actually need to change the formatting of the style, however. Click OK. It's important that this style is applied only to this one cell, since the footer will be looking for anything with that formatting. If more than one place in the document uses the EMPL style name, the footer won't know what data to pull. Create and apply the rest of the styles that you'll need to reference. In this case, we probably only need the higher date. Let's add a higher date style that applies to the correct cell of the table. Notice that the new styles now appear in the horizontal styles box. Scroll down and double click or go to insert footer to open the footer. Let's put the employee name on the left and the hire date on the right. To do this, click blank three columns. Go ahead and delete the middle column. In the left column, go to insert quick parts field. Choose style ref, the MPL name, and click OK. The employee's name is automatically populated. Repeat this in the right footer column, this time choosing the higher date style. Let's close the footer. Go back up to the table and change the employee name or date. Make sure that the footer changes accordingly. Another method is to use fillable forms. If you'd rather use a fillable form than a table, the style ref method we used here will still work. Just remember to apply each unique style only to the pertinent form. If you have an unanswered technical question that you would like to see addressed in an upcoming issue, feel free to email it to social at navitend.com. With that, we reach the conclusion of the screencast. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive new videos via email on our website. The link is below. Have a great week!